I should like to inform the Council. Money received today in Somalia will have a far greater impact on stability than that which arrives in three months' time. Extremely generous pledges were made at the summit in Brussels in April. They need to be fulfilled immediately. I have received a letter from the representative of the Mayor. Each of the four maritime vessels that have transported UNSAWA consignments to Amazon have been attacked. Three were subject to mortar attacks in Mogadishu Harbour and one was the target of an unsuccessful pirate attack. In addition, on 17 September and immediately following the two vehicle-borne suicide attacks, four Amazon soldiers from Uganda lost their lives during a mortar attack on the UNSAWA-established centralised food handling centre. In the consideration of the item on the Council... And I believe we have the right strategy in place now. The Djibouti Agreement, the presence of Amisom supported by the UN, international support for the transitional federal government and its security forces, and the engagement of the United Nations on the political and humanitarian aspects. It's now a question of seeing that strategy through. However, as we all know, the situation in Somalia remains extremely fragile. And as the Secretary General's report sets out, we have to intensify implementation on all strands of our strategy. The issue of outside actors is a serious one. The Somalia Sanctions Committee's monitoring group has reported that Eritrea has provided political, financial, and military support to armed opposition groups in Somalia. Efforts by the international community to engage the Eritrean government on its regional relations have been rebuffed. It is time for the international community to consider ways to address Eritrea's destabilizing impact on Somalia and the region. Somehow blockading the, the ports through which the Al Shabaab and their associates, Al Qaeda, receive not only supplies but other personnel to train and, 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 and ensure that their training camps are well equipped and well supplied. But what we're really doing, I think, is making sure that the situation on the ground, which is, after all, what's important, not just talking and talking about what needs to be done, but what is, equipment is actually getting on the ground, what support we're giving to the TFG, and how they are doing in terms of reaching out and also surviving the, the attacks they have been having are critically important. It's just a absolutely horrible and horrendous uh, tragedy, the, the attacks on the, on the demonstration. The pictures out of there are of the uh, women raped and the problems are absolutely disgusting and, and horrible. And I think all civilized uh, society looks at that and, and feels this is abhorrent. On the question of what our involvement, we have been involved there really since the death of uh, Mr. President Conte. Uh, on this question of the transition and, and how we can be helpful and how we can move towards a, a democratic transition because that's what the people of Guinea deserve. Uh, they, for many years, have not had that opportunity. We would like to help them move to a, an election to, to pick leadership, which of the, is their own choosing.